going on YouTube it's Mike here today guys in this video I'm gonna be showing you how to get iOS 7 beta 1 completely free not registering not needing UDID registration accounts just completely free now this is going to get you the first beta version of iOS 7 this can run on the iPhone 4 and up so iPhone 4 4s and 5 um, iPod touch 5g uh, all three models, the 16, 32, and 64 gig. And then also, I'm pretty sure this will work with the Apple TV as well. Obviously, there's no beta versions for the iPad yet, so this is all it's going to work for. Um, now, I do before I actually jump into this, I do want to give a very fair warning. Um, it is very, very important um, that you back up your device and save everything and anything because by the time beta 2 comes out this this type of method to get iOS 7 working is most likely going to be patched and eventually the beta 1 is going to expire so your device will become unusable of course you could restore your device you could put it in DFU mode and restore your device down back to iOS 6 so this will give you kind of like uh, limited access for a little bit unless Apple just figures out not to patch it or they just forget uh, patching it so just that little disclaimer right there and I'll talk about that a little bit through the video too but anyways um, so definitely back up your device in this video um, since I already have iOS 7 on my iPhone 5 I'm gonna be using my brother's uh, iPhone 4s to do this just for testing purposes and we're gonna see if this works and because I've never done this before but I've heard it works so you're gonna need two things you're going to need iTunes of course the most recent version mine is the most recent version and you're also going to need your firmware and here we have the 4s firmware I'm gonna go ahead and quick look at here for a second just to show you so here's our firmware our, our iPhone 4 comma 1 7.0 and there's the um, the name and that is our restore so what you need to do first is you need to head into iTunes and right here is where your device information is gonna be and you'll see everything listed here and so the first thing you want to do is back up now um, this this specific phone has some backup errors and the, and the save the last saved will be from January which is like six months ago um, so it's not that I really care either and I don't think my brother will too much uh, as well because he doesn't even have that much on his phone to begin with uh, but that's okay so uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna want to um, restore the iPhone so we're just gonna simply click restore and now if I even if I hit back up it won't back up unfortunately um, it just doesn't work 100% so I'm just gonna hit restore and it's going to go ahead now and download 6.1.3 so if you're on any i device except the iPhone 5 I'm not sure about the iPod touch 5g but if you're on like the 4s or the 4 um, you should be on 6.1.3 unless you're on the 5, which is 6.1.4. I think the iPod Touch 5G is on uh, 6.1.3 as well. I think the iPhone 5 is the only one that goes up to 6.1.4. Um, so you're just going to want to go ahead and download um, 6.1.3 if you haven't already. If you can just hit restore and it starts restoring your phone, that's perfectly fine. That already means that you downloaded 6.1.3, possibly on accident. Uh, but anyway, so we're going to come back as soon as this is done downloading. Um, then we're going to get to the process. All right, guys, so uh, the restore is finished. And if everything goes well, um, then you should be greeted here with a page in iTunes. Welcome to your new iPhone. Um, now, once you get here, you do not want to restore from a backup. So I don't want to restore from Chris's backup. I want to set up as a brand new iPhone. So I'm just going to hit continue here. I'm just going to go ahead and hit get started. And it did name it Mike Cronin's iPhone. I'm uh, probably based off the name of my computer. Um, but you're not going to want to sync anything on because we're just going to go back to restoring again. Quite simple. Um, so what you're going to do is, now this is going to be for Mac or PC, and this is where you have to be very careful. This is one of the most important steps. Okay, your phone is on 6.1.3, or iPod Touch, or 6.1.4, all right? And you want to have your, um, your firmware, the 7.0, the correct corresponding firmware, um, somewhere in reach. Not necessarily the desktop, but just have it ready. All right, so we're going to go into iTunes. And while holding the option key and clicking on Mac or shift and then I think control it is on PC I really can't remember uh, but we're gonna hit option and check for update regularly for something like this we'd be hitting um, something like option restore iPhone but for this we're doing check for update 
So I'm going to hit desktop here and we're going to go ahead and select our firmware and open. And it says iTunes will update your iPhone to 7.0 and verify the update with Apple. So we're just going to go ahead and hit update. And we're going to let the iPhone now go ahead and update. Keep in mind your iPhone should be sitting on the iPhone setup screen. It should be like that grayscale iPhone uh, and a little slider bar on the bottom coming up in all different languages. So if you have that, you're good. And you're pretty much just going to leave it from here. Don't touch the phone. Don't touch this. Let iTunes do it thing. And it's going to load iOS 7 onto here. And we'll be back as soon as that's done. All right, guys. So here we are. We made it. Um, we are back in the iTunes screen. And as you can see right here, it says iOS 7.0. Now, regularly, um, if we didn't do this, the check for update, the option click way, um, what would have happened was if we didn't do any of the steps, quite honestly, what would have happened was is it would throw us to a screen saying that um, this wasn't part of the developer program. So right now, um, I'm on my brother's iPhone here. I'm about to set it up for him, and I was able to get past that screen um, where it would tell me that I wouldn't be able to uh, use it. So now I can. And that this is going to work for anyone that's you trying to use iOS 7 Beta 1. And that is, of course, until uh, Apple releases iOS 7 Beta 2, because eventually Beta 1 will expire, and you'll be forced to upgrade to Beta 2, um, which will most likely patch this sort of um, glitch that we found. And so... I, I just recommend this mainly to give iOS 7 a try, and then, you know, after that, you'll have to uh, jump back down to iOS 6 for a little, otherwise your phone will be bricked. Um, and then in the fall, of course, you could just um, go ahead and switch to the iOS 7. And also, once you're all done, um, you remember how I told you before that you couldn't back up anything when we were just about to install iOS 7? Well, now you can go ahead and restore your backup, put all your music, photos, etc., um, you could put that all back onto uh, your phone now. So that's what I'm about to do. And that's pretty much it, guys. That is how to run iOS 7 uh, Beta 1 on your iPhone or iPod Touch without needing your UDID registered or any of that crap. This is completely free and completely easy to use. Everything uh, is in the description for instructions and stuff like that. Uh, if this helped you guys a lot, please leave some comments below on your thoughts. Of course, rate, give this video a thumbs up, and click the subscribe button below. If this doesn't work anymore, I do apologize. It means that it's out of date, uh, so you're probably watching this a while after the upload date, or there's a newer version of uh, the iOS 7 beta. So, sorry, it's out of date. But anyways, guys, that's it for this one, and I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.